I now will turn to some uh, actual news and uh, we in Russia follow what now is happening in uh, the region of Armenian and Azerbaijanian conflict. Yeah. And uh, definitely uh, Turkey plays a role there. Uh, is it negative or positive? Uh, that is not uh, for me to judge, but uh, I would like to ask you about uh, Turkey's and Erdogan's policies. So in recent, year, uh, in recent years, um, Turkey has been trying to maximize its international influence. We uh, all see its presence in Libya, its intervention to Syria, territorial disputes with Greece, and uh, now open support to Azerbaijan. Uh, what do you think about that kind of behavior of Ankara and Erdogan's personally? And should the international community pay more attention to this sort of uh, neo-Osmanism? Mm. Uh, let's be blunt uh, and uh, clear. Erdogan has supported terrorists in Syria and he's been supporting terrorists in Libya. And uh, he was the main instigator and initiator of the recent conflict that uh, happened in, uh, that's been going on in uh, uh, Nargoni Karabakh mm -hmm. between Azerbaijan and, and Armenia. So uh, I would sum his uh, behavior as dangerous uh, for different reasons. First of all, because it reflects the Muslim Brotherhood behavior. Muslim Brotherhood is a terrorist extremist group. Uh, second, because he's creating war in different areas just to distract his own public opinion in Turkey from focusing on his behavior within Turkey, inside Turkey, uh, especially after uh, the, his scandals, scandalous relation with ISIS in Syria. Uh, and everybody knows that the ISIS used to sell Syrian oil through Turkey mm -hmm. with the umbrella of the American Air Forces and of course the support of the Turks and the involvement of the Turks, not, not the support, the involvement mm -hmm. in selling this oil. So this is his goal and this is dangerous. So whether the international community should be aware or not, the word international community in reality is only a few countries, the great powers and rich countries and let's call them the influencers on the uh, political arena. Uh, the majority of this international community is complicit with Turkey in supporting the terrorists. So they know what Turkey is doing. They are happy about what Turkey is doing. And Turkey is armed for those countries in fulfilling their uh, policies and dreams in this region. So no, we cannot bet on the international community at all. You can bet on the international, on, on the international law, but it doesn't exist. There's no institution to, to, uh, to implement the international law. So we have to depend on ourselves in Syria and on the support of our friends. More about this conflict. Uh, so there were reports that uh, some uh, terrorists from the groups that were fighting previously in Syria are now being transferred to, uh, to this uh, conflict zone between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Yeah. Uh, can you confirm that? Do you have any information about uh, fighters yeah. Uh, going from Syria to... We definitely can confirm it, not because we have evidences, but sometimes if you don't have evidence, you have indications. Uh, Turkey used uh, those terrorists coming from different countries in Syria. They used the same method in Libya. They used Syrian terrorists in Libya, maybe with other nationalities. So it's self-evident and very much probable that they are using that in Nargoni Karabakh, because as I said earlier, they are the one who started this problem, this conflict. They encouraged this conflict. So they wanted to achieve something and they're going to use the same method. So uh, f we can say for sure that they've been using Syrian and other nationalities of terrorists in Nargoni Karabakh. In Nargoni Karabakh. Mm.